The white shoe slang. I've been up in other women were murder. I've had three m women be murdered in just in this one. Three were murders of women straight away. It's definitely another woman murder. Oh my god, not again. She's super drunk. Good morning, gentlemen. A Good morning. Good morning, it is too. We have just cause for celebration. Galloway and Phelps are sending another fiend to San Quentin. A nice showy trial, and he'll be strapped down with gas seeping into his tiny reptile brain. <laughs> That's cruel. Okay. Fresh business. Galloway and Phelps. Chris. The task is at hand. The address is on the hill, north downtown of Fremont Avenue. We've got another murder, murder, murder. Okay. Skipper, is the new letter genuine? Now, boys, we all know how many imbeciles have confessed in the short case. Ray Pinker will let us know in good time. I am out of here. I said all fair in love and war. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to 45. This way? This way. Not spot. Parker? What the? I don't know who they were. Definitely bot here. Uh, this way. God damn! Greetings from sunny California. Ooh. Stop. Oh yeah, I'm in California. A fine morning indeed. We keep locking them up, but the bodies keep piling up. Yeah, California's love of that, Phelps. Long I should have drove there. It'd been cool to drive in the rain. First the letter, and now another body. Come on, you can't keep on telling me there's not a killer still out there. You know, Phelps, all these arrests on your racket are giving you a reputation. You don't want to turn into unsolved. Getting a vicious killer off the streets is more important than my reputation. Really? And besides, landing a big fat marlin is more impressive than an ocean full of minnows. The minnows make it the man. But you can't always hit home run. Sometimes you just gotta make first picks. Another crime scene. Detectives, Phelps and Galloway, homicide. Scene is secure. The rest of the patrolmen are going door to door, canvassing for witnesses. Thanks. Keep me informed. Will do, Detective. This looks awfully familiar. I think that's the impression the boys from the Examiner took with them as well. There's nothing original under the sun. Why should murder be any different? What do we have so far? Not much trace evidence to speak of. Storm blew in around 10 last night, and the rain washed most of it away. And the body? Looks like she was tipped out of an automobile from the tire tracks and superficial injuries. Strangled with a length of rope. And for my money, it's triple braid again. Oh, not again. Time Can you death. just make sure she's Over covered up? Maybe 2 a.m. But it was cold last night. Usual head injuries. Blunt force trauma. Knock him over the head, then strangle and mutilate. No message with this one. At least she was left clothed. I doubt very much he was concerned with her dignity. The green silk dress is very distinctive. Any sign of her other shoe? No. And no huh? That's where the shoe suspects. comes in. This is good. At least she's got clothes on. Was he disturbed? I'm thinking maybe you're disturbed because this killer really loves doing the same stuff every single time. So I'll just check out the body. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So I had to switch back the keyboard. It's easy to play with the keyboard. The driving's a lot easier. Okay, okay. I think uh, I think you use a different kind of rope or. Oh. She hasn't got a ring on her finger. Ooh! There appears to be a dry cleaning label. Superior Laundry Services, F1363. Okay. Anything else? No. Uh, well, let me just check out the hand, because I remember him taking wedding rings and things. No. You didn't take, didn't take anything? Alrighty. 
Check this place out. Anything here? I think it wants me to follow this weird spiral on the map. What? This is the. Uh oh. Ooh. Size eight, maybe. No drag marks. Killer was moving around, surveying the scene. Mm -hmm. So it came that way. And it went this way? Some tire, uh, some car. Our driver and our killer are most likely one and the same. Hmm. What's this on the floor? Ooh, money. Oh. Don't think this is any use to us. No. Could be something written in there. But I'll listen to you. You think you probably know better than I. Oh, no, it's a secret. This guy was willing to ride his own mother after I'd sweated him. What's over there? Got bees. Is it not the bottle? No, no, it's the footprints. Hmm. Okay, done. Oh, there we go. I think I meant to call somebody. Now, who do we have here? across the street and up the block this lady thinks she has something for us detective phelps lapd a witness i'm mrs barton Catherine barton i live just across the way uh suspicious persons did you see anyone around here last night not last night but yesterday early evening i saw that awful hobo uh, don't blame the hobo come on that's true yeah it's true yeah i'll go for it do you have a description? Tall, gaunt, horribly disfigured. I think he may have had an accident in the war. He's a very scary, angry man. Any idea where we might find him? One of the hobo camps around here. He's some kind of hobo leader. They all follow him around. I don't think it was him, though. Thank you, ma'am. You've been a big help. Of course. Anything I can do to help. I'd hate to think that something so ghastly could happen right here. And Imagine I if I just kept calling a liar. <laughs> that would have ended badly. But yeah, so that's the thing. Uh, we're looking for a whole ball camp now. Alright, do I need to call somebody? Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, detective? I need an address on Superior Laundry Services. Just a moment. Superior Laundry Services. Sammy has got a smartphone. Zero West First Street. Can you track down reports of hobo camps in the vicinity of Signal Hill? Just a moment, detective. I guess that's why he has to make these calls to find these addresses. There's a large camp under the bridge on Grand between Temple and Sunset. Thanks. Got two locations now. Go, let's go. Can you keep things under control until Pinker and Carruthers finish up? Sure, detective. We'll stay out of their way. Oh, where's my car? Let's go. Alright, hold on E. Can you drive to this one? Let's... Where exactly are we going? Uh, let's go laundry services first. Then we go Hobo Camp. KTI Radio. No message. Excuse me? There was no message. Where? On the Vic. The last bodies had something written on it. This one didn't. I'm failing to follow you. 
That's a good point. It could be the same guy, because the, the killer might just change his demo. Because you want to connect all the murders together. This guy. Look, fun. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. We're investigating a case, and one of your laundry labels came up. F one three six three. If you give me a minute, I go find a register, and you can take a look. Okay, okay. Take a look for yourself. I've got clothes that need pressing. Oh, damn it. You wrote the number down on that dress, up there. Oh, what was the address? Should I look at my... Oh, I think I should look at something. Let me just look at my... Not thing. How do I bring it up? There we go. Clues. From victim, 2 a.m. She was killed about 2, 2 a.m. Laundry, found the app. Bootprints. Tire tracks. Laundry ledger. I was not paying attention when I read about the address. So I'm going to have to guess on this one. They, did they tell me the address over the phone? Now I've forgotten it. So definitely a miss. Are they all misses? Oh, they'll be here for some time, I think. She had a green dress, right? Ah, black. Was that how I meant to find out? Green silk dress. Black trousers. Black silk slip. Green dress. That should be it. Mrs. T. Terrelson, 43 M. Old Street, Westlake. Nice. Am I done now? Yeah, I'm done. A new location? No. Now let's go talk to the hobo. Hobo village, please. I think we ought to investigate the hobo lead. Well, if you think we ought to, then I guess we ought. I'm sure you witnessed something. And now, national news from American. For a tall man with a disfigured face. Do you know him? Huh? What? I fought in two wars, you know, son. I think I earned some peace and quiet. Ah, the bum isn't here. Look. We should follow the only lead. Lead. These guys can wait. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I think I prefer home hobo than homeless. This guy's obviously lying. I mean. Let's go check this place out. They make it for a reason. He's got a big scar on his face. Huh? What is this? Oh, we're both at the war, isn't it? Me and this hobo character. Maybe you recognize me. 
Let's get out of here. You're behind the wheel. And where exactly are we going? Let's go talk to the husband. I've got a feeling we're about to meet another wife killer. You've always got that feeling, Rusty. Yeah, and it's usually correct. Please, please, for once, can you not let your assumptions color your detective work? Just you wait. Nordic types show a particular disposition for this stuff. Hmm. I do like the homes, though. Big yard. Night time. Normally, uh, all the missions are during the day. This is nice. I like it. Right, let's look through the through the window. See what everybody's doing. I right, sitting around. Dad's having a smoke. Kids up, just staring at the dad having a smoke. No TV. No TV. Sad times. Oh, yeah, I forgot. The date is 1947. This is uh, oh, I dropped something. Well, let's just knock. See what they're doing. Hello? Hello? Yes? Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Is your wife home, sir? My wife went out last night and she hasn't come home. Damn. Can you describe your wife and what she was wearing? We were out at a friend's place, Bobby Ross's, for a party. She was kind of dolled up. She had her green silk dress. Green silk dress. Okay. Shoes. Those are her favorite shoes. Yep. Can we come in, Mr. Tarleton? I'm afraid we have some rather bad news. Ish. Do you have someone who can look after your children, Mr. Terrelson? I've been trying to arrange a sitter. Look, tell me what's happened. They look like him a little bit. I'm afraid your wife was murdered last night. Her body was found this morning. We're very sorry for your loss. Kids are nonplussed. This is a difficult time, Mr. Terrelson, but we are going to need you to answer some questions. First, we're going to take a look around. What for? You don't think it's that... procedure. You see to your girl. I don't think he's done it, but maybe there's some evidence somebody else has done it. I remember we were looking for a hobo in the last episode. Couldn't find that hobo. A homeless person. Stay here till Daddy's finished talking to these men. Where's mommy? Everything's gonna be all right, sweetheart. Did she either, please, like officer? Me to come home now, Daddy. What's the problem, Terrelson? Let him search. You okay. Got nothing to hide. Look around. You want to hear something funny, Terrell? Some bums think filling out a missing persons report actually rules them out as a suspect. Okay, let's turn the sound a little bit down. Man. Something's going on here. Okay, we've got matches. Need to check if she was a regular. Baron's bar. Okay, nothing else. There's always a bar involved. I guess there's no other entertainment just to get drunk all the time. Okay, some bitch turned over. I wonder why the picture was turned down. Nothing else? No. Yeah, this is a hairbrush. Okay, that's all. Something here? Oh, pass. This isn't what we're looking for. Can I open it? No. Can I go in here? No. Oh, kids room. Oh, will there be any clues here? What is this? Chocolates. It doesn't appear to be connected. Nothing here. No drawings. Oh, none of that. None of that, please. Let's get out there. Something here. New Testament. Why are you giving me anything to go on? It looks like a. No, I don't think it's anything. Uh, let's go in the kitchen. 
Anything here? It's a boat. Nothing. No. Getting the dun dun dun. Nothing. Got my mask on here. Maybe the kids know something. If you'd excuse me, ladies. Is that no? Who's? Probably nothing. Can I not read it? What does it say? Ford for the something collection drive starts. Food on you. Your way momentarily, ladies. Nothing. Nope, can't talk to her. Can I talk to her? Nah, I don't think they witnessed anything. Anything in here? Nope. Another purse. So she went out without her handbag? That's odd. Maybe she was Well, maybe she's meeting somebody close by like a neighbor. She'd have to be in quite a state to leave this behind. Oh yeah, she was drunk in the flashback. Uh, brown, blonde brown hair, 1928. Okay. Lipstick. At least she was spared that particular indignity. Oh, I think the killer is the Dahlia killer, right? Or a copycat of the Dahlia. And he uses a certain kind of makeup or lipstick that he puts on his victims oh not this again okay we got it i think we got it anything else oh he just came here <laughs> oh husband's top is that blood Mars was out in the rain last night uh i think we'll use this to catch him in a lie that is important Ooh, dirty shoes Muddy shoes. Ooh. Anything here? Ooh, shoe shies. Anything with shoe shies? Can we see anything with shoe shies on it? Oh. Oh, there it is. We can see if Pinker can match the impression of the crime scene. Size 8. This might be not one of the murders. It might be just the husband. Because it didn't... A lot of the details were different from this case and the other ones. Oh, is that Kane? No. Swings. What's this? I found a glow. Nope. It looks like junk. Doesn't tell me anything. It's fishing stuff. I see even any clues out here. Let me just look around here. Nah, no clues here. Nothing in the garden. Nothing here. Uh, every time I go outside, it's never a clue. Ooh, paint. There's a boat. Oh no, I would have missed this if I didn't go outside. Nice. This might be a case break at this clue. Any other? Paint. What's it called? The boat's called Eva. Uh, can I go? Can I see the paint? No. It was a paint uh, tin in the la one of the cases. Okay, we're just gonna keep going on there. No, uh, anything else with the boat? I that must be the reason why I was looking at the boat earlier. My attention was on the boat. Anything around here? No. Can I jump up? No. 
Let's go back in. We got a jackload of clues. And let's see what this guy does. Just really push him. Well, let's see what it gives. I left the door open. Can I close this door? I can't close the door. I'm just saying that it breaks realism. <laughs> Maybe it's the summer, that's why I left the front door open. Let's talk to him. For the record, Mr. Tarleton, what is your wife's name? Teresa. Teresa? Okay. <laughs> I think Simon's truth here. Victim state of mind, last contact, victim, alibi, for loss. I'm going to go for that last possible suspects. Victim state of mind, last contact. Let's go for this victim state of mind. Mr. Terrelson, was Teresa happy at home? Yeah, I think she was. Hmm. Okay, let me just look at the clues. Time of death, busy line, time marks, matchbook. Victim's handbook, muddy boots. Mm, doesn't really tell me anything. So let's just go for that. None of them are happy. Terrelson. We like the look of you for this, so you better give us something. We're at the party. She has a few and says she wants to go out dancing. We only have the sitter until nine. I get mad. I tell her to go ahead, but I'm staying. She storms out. Look, I'm doing well at cards. I hardly ever do well. I married her because she was so much fun, but now she drives me fucking crazy. What time did she leave the party? About 8.30, maybe a little earlier. Okay, that was... It was very good, eh? What, what time did he say? A little earlier, 8.30 did he say? Okay. I forgot what time he said there. I spaced out. Okay, last contact with victim. Last contact with victim. Uh, alibi for months, possible suspects, possible suspects. Do you have any idea why anyone would want to hurt your wife? No. Everyone loved Teresa. She was so full of life. It can't oh. be anyone who knew her. I don't know. I think he's telling the truth. I want to say truth. So you don't know anyone who would want her dead? No. I don't. I got it wrong. Okay, last contact victim. When was the last time you saw your wife? Around 8.30. 8.30. The card game at Bobby's was wrapping up. I played out my hand and drove home here. I paid the sitter and went to bed. What were your clothes wet then? Lie. You're lying, Lars. You didn't come straight home, did you? And how do you figure that? Clothes dripping wet. Let's observe him. Oh, that looks calm. Wet jacket. Victim's handbag. Turning lipstick and ID. Uh, laundry found in victim clothing. Tracks on muddy tire tracks on muddy ground close to body. There we go. You were out in the rain. You got soaked, Lars. We found your wet weather gear. Okay, I stayed a little later than I said. This cute little brunette was hitting on me. Hmm. <laughs> Teresa noticed. I was half cut. I walked her home from Bobby's. But nothing happened. I walked back and got the car this morning. That might explain his muddy shoes as well. I can't tell. The eyes sometimes makes me think they're lying. Okay, alibi for Lars. You said you went to a party at Bobby Ross's place? That's right. Bobby had a bunch of people over. We were having a good time. She said she was bored and decided to leave. They were having a good time, a bunch of people. I don't know. So, at the party, did she have a handbag? Then how did the handbag turn up at the house? Maybe she came back to the house and then got kidnapped and she went out again. Sweet. 
Okay, let's say that. You let your drunk wife leave the party and go off on her own? Look, I was angry. I was having a good time. She has to go and ruin it. We always have to do what she wants to do. Last night she wanted to go dancing. Any idea where? Where she always goes. Baron. Right on a North Baudry Avenue. Baron's Bar. She goes there, drinks too much, gets maudlin, and calls me. I go and bring her home. Thanks for answering our questions, Mr. Tony. Four out of three out of four. I need to go downtown to identify your web spot. I should have taken her dancing. In my experience, Mac, they give in to Braj, they be given in to them your entire life. And he could be being framed again. Story right now. Call in, get some uniforms dispatched to check out his alibi. Yeah, I'll do that.